the International Hotel in Canary Wharf. And I saw this, it's, it's screwed to the wall, this. it's in a frame. They meant business when they put this thing here. I'm going to read this to you now, this sentence, and then chat amongst yourself 20 seconds. What has gone on at the hotel for this to finish up on the wall? The company cannot guarantee the provision of wake-up calls and accepts no liability for any missed calls. The management. What's gone on for that to be there? So give me some feedback. What has gone on at the hotel for that to finish up on the wall? They've, so they've, somebody's missed a call, haven't they? I think more than one person. Would you agree? I think more than one person has been down to reception and played what I call Bertie Big Bollocks. Where you go down and you say, do you know how important I think I am? You were supposed to phone me up at six o'clock this morning and you forgot, you idiot. And I've missed a plane, I've missed a train, I've missed a deal and I'm furious. So what they've done is they've had a meeting. And at the meeting, because we have meetings when things go wrong, don't we? At the meeting, some bright spark has said, well, it strikes me we can do one of two things. We can either have a system that's foolproof, and if we're going to phone someone up at 6 o'clock in the morning, we phone them up at 6 o'clock in the morning, or we'll put a notice up. And the notice would say, look, we might phone you up, we might not. <laughs> so some of the bright spark said, you can't do that, you can't put a notice up saying we might phone you up, we might not. That looks like you don't care. Well, can we get the lawyers to reword it? So they've been to the lawyers at £400 an hour and said, can you reword for me, please? Look, we might phone you up. We might not. How about this? The company cannot guarantee the provision of wake-up calls and accepts no liability for any missed calls. Perfect. <laughs> Who is it? Who needs the wake-up call? It's the management. And what's happened to their reputation? Because your ability to offer an excellent service all comes down to your reputation. And this is all the reputation is. It is the experience that people have of you minus what they expected of you. So if you do a bit more than is expected of you, you enhance your reputation. If you do less than is expected of you, you lose your reputation. That's why the single most important thing to do in business is just to do what you say you're going to do. Which means you have to say to all your clients, what is your expectation of our service? You have to find out what the expectation is. I think running a business Looking back, almost all the big fallouts, all the big arguments came about because somebody either hadn't done what they said they were going to do or somebody misunderstood what was expected. That's it. You have to do what you say you're going to do. And if you look at why Betty's is excellent and why Betty's also, despite the fact that they pay minimum wage, consistently wins Sunday Times top employer it's because they look after all the little details and they go for excellence as a reputation every day, day in, day out. I mean, ultimately, it's all about loyalty, isn't it? Or, as Tammy Wynette once famously said, this is the five times married Tammy Wynette, stand by your man. <laughs>